Hello friends, it's Sonia here from Growing Craft and today I am here at Crafty Scrappers to share my new tutorial. So I have this new release stamp set from Crafty Scrappers, uh, the shimmer paint and chalk paint and I am going to make a mixed media card. So let's get started. Now on the smaller piece of cardstock, I am going to splash some water and add my shimmer spray shade grey juice and I am going to set it for dry. So. Once it has dried out completely, again I am going to splash some water and I am going to, you know, to use another shade that is Sweet Pumpkin of Shimmer Spray. Now with my heat tool gun, I am going to speed up the process of drying and I will just make sure that my cast stock has dried out completely before doing the next step. Who says chalk paints are only for decoupage or only the MDF work? You use them for your mixed media projects, they are just fab. So I am using my chalk paint uh, shade dreamy orange peel on my bigger cardstock and I am just using some water to spread out my color properly. Now on the shimmery spray cardstock, I am going to stamp the hair of the pretty lady. I just need to make sure that I have both the shades on my hairs so that it really gives a pop out color on my card. Now I am going to fussy cut the hair flower portion of the stamped image. Once my fussy cut is ready, now I am going to do the distressing on the edges and add some more shade of pink to the flowers. Now for the background, I am going to use this beautiful background stamp set from Crafty Scrappers and I am going to do a clear embossing on it. Now with the help of foam tape, I am going to stick this beautiful flower fussy cut on the pretty lady and I am going to add some extra adhesive just to make sure that it doesn't come out. I am using purple color cardstock to stamp the sentiment for my card and I am again going to fussy cut it.
it's time to add some glitters to my project so i'm using tacky tape at the bottom and i'm going to stick my sentiment on it and on the remaining portion i'm going to add glitters this is my first time experience with distressing the cardstock where i have used chalk paint and this was really fun and i'm really happy with the outcome of my base now it's time to assemble the final project so i'm going to use 3d foam tape to stick it to a purple color cardstock to match with my color coordination and my card is ready i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching